Hail, give thanks. There was a man named Constantine. I don't know how much people ever hear about him or of which are we who uh, watch this thing ever hear about Constantine. Constantine was one of the emperors of Rome. But Fim Empire, this church got into Turkey, a place named Constantinople, where he named half himself. In a place named Istanbul. Istanbul is in Turkey. And for those of you who don't know, Turkey is in two different continents. It is in Asia and it is in Europe. Part of it is in Asia and part of it is in Europe. It was like a crossroad between what was happening in Europe and what was happening in Asia, especially in Jerusalem and so-called Palestine. Well, Constantine is responsible for most of the thinking and thought that come out of Christianity. Because we must understand that Christianity, as it was known, never start in Africa, even though the people them who create the idea is African. But the Europeans carry it to the next level, the unbelievable level that really make the whole world accept it. I will not say the whole world, I mean the whole Western world. And Constantine was a main man. Constantine had an empire that stretched, as we say, from Constantinople, way over there. So. And there was a time when him decide, him going to decide now how to make Christianity be more palatable to the world. Not like where the so called Jews them did talk about. Or where the people them in a, in a way, because what happened was that there was a group of people who was fighting against the Roman Empire, the Greco-Roman Empire. So they create a lot of little war zealots, they call them zealots. And they fight against the Roman Empire with violence. Now, the Romans needed to pacify these people. And the only way they could pacify the people them is to attack their belief system and their culture. And one of the ways that they do it was to use a guy named Saul, otherwise called Paul. Paul was a Roman citizen and he claimed to get a, a vision when he got to Damascus and he changed. Because even though he used to persecute the so-called followers, him himself get converted. And when you look at the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we really don't know who write them. You know, we really don't know who write them. But we know, say, Constantine, 200 years AD or something like that, him call a conference with bishops to rectify once and for all what is Christianity what is the, the, the character of Jesus and all these things when Jesus was just a normal man. I wouldn't even say Jesus because I never named Jesus. There was no Jesus in history. There was a man named Yahshua. Yahshua was a Hebrew. And them other and a thing named Christ for him name. Christ is not Yahshua's last name. Christ means anointed. So you have a, a what you call a a historical man and a mythical man and them combine the two of them just like oh a lot of the, the things them that you believe about Jesus right now was there before Jesus born all of the religions the major religions them of the eastern world was long before the so called Jesus born we talk about Buddhism Mithraism Zoroaster all of them and the Isis concepts all of them derived from those places like yeah, 500 years BC. But this one took over because Rome was where we call the Empire of Rome was controlling the Western world. And they sit down and conceive and make laws that govern Christianity and then put it out there as the gospel. And this gospel was to pacify the rebellious Jews them in Palestine, in Israel. And that is how them get for really maintain them power. They maintain them power by causing the people them to be so passive in them thinking and giving up them culture that them now have the strength to fight. And we see this happening right now. We see it happen right now. 
that the fighters of the African Revolution get pacified most of the time because of religious belief, religious concepts that is coming from this book that most people are telling us is African people, it's black people write it. Black people never have nothing to do with it. More than say, we did not live a certain life that was before the book. And these guys take that lifestyle and inject it in a freedom lifestyle. So they fuse Roman, Greco-Roman culture with Jewish culture and make out and become Christians. And that is how Christianity comes. Christianity is not here to free you. Christianity is here to pacify you. And the more African people go into this idea and this concept of Christianity, is the more them get pacified into becoming a part of the Greco-Roman Empire. Yeah, this is Muta Baroka. I want to introduce you to a, a different style of programming from the media. We call it Ross Internet that today. I want you to log on to it because you'll be pleasantly surprised. Ross Internet that today provides you with all different perspectives, knowledge, psychology, philosophy, history, social things, religion things. So we want you to tune into it. Ross R A S S S Internet that today. Ire. Well let me hear you say mountain, mountain, mountain.